they're off. And away we go then for this betterracingtv.com handicap. Good start by Open Market, who's often keen in her races, but also up there is Maggie's Turn and Holly Doyle. In behind is Wen Moon in the purple jacket, blue and white of Mutani. At the back of the field is Thunder Bear as they head down the centre of the course. Maggie's Turn is out in front with, uh, for company, the keen going open market, Wen Moon in behind and Tom Marquand. Then comes Mutani, Dane O'Neill. The back of the five is Thunder Bear as they now race beyond halfway. Maggie's turn, an open market, not much between them, chased by Wen Moon in third place with Mutani getting a little bit closer now. Then comes Thunder Bears, they head to the final two. Maggie's turn under pressure. Open market, far right Wen Moon, down this near side to the left Mutani, followed through by Thunder Bear as they head down towards the final furlong of the contest. Mutani down this near side, down the far side Wen Moon. Open market, Thunder Bears going well, going very well under Ronan Whelan as they head down to the final half furlong. Mutani Tani being taken on by Thunder Bear, who's come from the back of the field here and is going away really cheekily to victory under Ronan Whelan. Thunder Bear beats Mutani in second, then came Open Market in third, Wen Moon, and in last place, Maggie's turn. Thunder Bear outsider for the lot has dotted up Ronan Whelan. Well done, that was mighty impressive. Yeah, he, he came good. Uh, we were on the way over, and Jack showed me a video of him in Down Riley. He kind of half missed the kick one day, and he ended up finishing second to uh, a subsequent listed winner of Paddy Toomey. So he kind of said if we can kind of ride him something similar to the, today and hope they go hard. And look, he switched off lovely and was behind the bridle, and he just cruised through the race, you know. No headgear today. Yeah, no headgear. Just Jack took everything off him, and we just said, you know, ride him with confidence. Um, no pressure kind of ride, and just let it happen. And... He, uh, he's always threatened to do something like that at home. Uh, he's quite hard on himself, so it's important he settles. Doing a good, better race, he'd be an easier ride. Yeah, you'd like to think so, you know. And uh, he's, uh, <coughs> he's had, and it took him a while to get his head in front before, and that might just give him a confidence booster. So uh, hopefully he can go on from that. He opened up to a lot of good races now, if it's written. Yeah, I think so. I think um, uh, it was a good call. Jack obviously had to fill in the listed race and he, he thinks he thought the type of racing over here might suit him. Just at home in Ireland when we sprint, we, it can yeah. kind of be a little bit tactical, tactical, you know, whereas here they tend to go a more even, honest uh, gallop, especially on a flat track like this. It's, it tends The pace tends to hold up and he thought it might suit and he threw him on the box and sure, look, it worked out ideal. We'll see you plenty during the summer maybe. Well done. Well, hopefully the first of many. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.